Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you very much for coming to the English Speech and Presentation Contest 2019 Orientation. My name is Professor Green. I am in the Faculty of Law. I'm also the Deputy Director for the Center for Global Education and Exchange. And I'm very excited to tell you about this year's Speech and Presentation Contest. I'm going to tell you what the contests are, what the themes are, and how you should prepare. All right, what is the speech contest? Well, it begins by working with a teacher. You'll need to find a teacher in your home faculty and work closely with that person and tell the speech contest. The first thing you will do is create an idea that is related to the theme. Then you will write a number of drafts of your speech. So you will write a draft of your speech, and then your teacher will help you to edit it, and then you will write it again, and then your teacher will help you edit it, and then you will write it again, and your teacher will help you edit it, and then you will probably write it again. Then you will practice doing your speech. When you have a final written version of your speech, then you will practice speaking, and you will practice actually doing your speech. The faculties and the departments, your home faculty, your home department, will select the participants. One student from each faculty may participate in the, speech, in the final speech contest, so they will be selected by the faculty department. The speech contest itself takes place in the afternoon of November 3rd, so during the school festival. On that day, we hope you will give your best performance. And it is open to students who have studied abroad for less than six months and who have not attended international schools. All right. So if you, were, if you went to a high school where the official language was English, then unfortunately you can't join the speech contest, but you can join the presentation contest. And I'll talk about that in a little bit. All right. So why should you enter a speech contest? This is what previous Toyo students who participated wrote about in the survey we gave them. I never tried a speech. I wanted to challenge it. I wanted to challenge how well people could understand my ideas and pronunciation. I wanted to improve my speaking skill. I wanted to win something. All right? There are prizes. Why should you enter a speech contest? This is what Toyo University hopes. This is why Toyo University hopes that you will enter the speech contest. We'd like you to make an effort to speak in front of many people. This is a very important skill for your future careers, especially if you want an international skill. We hope that you will meet like-minded students from other faculties. You'll get to meet students from other faculties doing the same thing you're doing. You can gain confidence by doing this. You'll feel more confident for the future. And at the same time, you'll improve your pronunciation, your timing, and your general speech-giving skills. Also, we hope that you'll learn by making an effort, you always get a good reward. Just doing, this, just doing a speech contest and completing it, that is its own reward. Because we, at Toyo University, we believe everyone, all of you have a voice. All of you have something very interesting to say, and we like to hear it. All right. Let's talk about this year's contest themes. This year, there are three different themes. You will please choose one. All right. The first theme, is social media bringing together people together or pulling them apart? Describe benefits and or problems of social media in our personal lives and communities. Topic B, what should the principle of gender equality mean and how can we fulfill it? Describe both local and global barriers to gender equality and how they might be overcome. And topic C, what does the idea of social responsibility mean to you? Discuss a personal experience through which you realize the importance of social responsibility and how society can benefit from it. All right, so there are the three topics again. Social media, gender equality, social responsibility. In a nutshell, right, the main point of each one, what are the benefits and their problems of social media for individuals and, individuals and society? That's the main idea of the first topic. Give specific examples, please. Topic two in a nutshell, what prevents gender equality and how do you think it can be achieved? Again. Please give specific examples plus practical advice to create gender equality. In topic C, what does social responsibility mean to you? Describe a specific time in your life when you discovered the importance of social responsibility. 
So here are the three main points, the three topics distilled into their main points. All right, what will the judges be looking for? Voice feature, body and eye control, and a compelling message based on knowledge gained through studies and experiences. So voice features, right? Speaking loudly and clearly with the proper tone. Body and eye control. We want you to look at everybody, look at the audience, make eye contact with the audience. Don't, don't talk to the lights or to the floor. Don't look at the wall in the back like there's some ghost or something. Right? We want to make eye contact with everybody. And have a persuasive message based on knowledge that you have acquired, your knowledge, through your studies and your personal experiences. Minus points if you speak for more than six minutes or less than four minutes. It's a five-minute speech. Minus points if you go off topic. We talk about something not related. And minus points for unnecessary, exaggerated gestures. Right? For example, for example, yesterday I saw Mount Fuji for the first time. It was so big. I was so touched. And now I'm so happy. Right? That just looks crazy, right? We don't, nobody wants to see that. So avoid unnecessary or exaggerated gestures. Next, let's talk about the presentation contest. Presentation, in the presentation contest, you can work with a group of three people. So choose, choose, two, uh, choose one or two friends to join you, and choose a specific topic related to the theme. Now, let me stop here to point out, these people do not have to be from your faculty. They can be from any faculty at Cornell. all right? Use images and a careful explanation to show your idea, and be ready to give your presentation on December 14th. December 14th, so not the same day as the speech contest. And it's open to anyone, anyone. If you studied abroad or you went to an international school, no problem, you can participate in the speech contest. All right? If there are more than six groups total that register, then there will be video judging before December 14th. There will be video judging. All right? What is the topic? The topic is what do you see for Japan beyond the 2020 Tokyo Olympics? Research the issues you believe will shape Japan's future the most and propose how we can harness the power of the Olympics to make this future as bright as possible. Show the results of your research with references to facts, trends, and data. Be specific in your proposal about how your plan can develop Japan's future after the 2020 Olympics. Let's break this down. Let's look at each part of this. All right. Japan after next year's Olympics. Research issues you think are important. Propose, make a plan, how we can take all of this energy from the Tokyo Olympics, all of the money, attention, anything, and use it for something for Japan in the future. All right? Show the results of your research with facts, trends, and data. You need to show the basis for your idea. And be specific in your proposal about how your plan can develop Japan's future after the 2020 Olympics. Right? Well, what do you think will shape Japan's future? That's your decision. That's your idea. That's your opinion. All right. What will the judges be looking for? Content, right? the, 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 the main idea, the organization of your, your presentation, the visual appeal and design of your information. Right? You'll have to have some visual information. Please try to make it as appealing as possible, well designed. Delivery, right? of course, how you speak. Persuasiveness, if, is this a good idea? And there will be a question and answer period after your presentation. The judges will ask you questions. All right, minus points if you speak for more than 11 minutes or less than 9 minutes. It's a 10 minute, 10 minute limit. Don't go off topic. And again, don't use the crazy gestures. All right. What should you do from now? For the speech contest, ask a teacher to help you to prepare and practice. This is very important. Apply beginning now until the end of this month, July 31st, through Toyonet ACE survey. Start to think of ideas for your speech and presentation. Get advice from all of your teachers, your language teachers and your subject teachers. Find out how your faculty will select the participants for the speech contest. And come and watch, or take part in, we hope, the speech contest and presentation contest in November and December, respectively. Things to remember, teacher helper, get a teacher helper. For the presentation contest, find two people to join you. And here's something we don't want to forget, prizes. There are prizes for the, in the contest. Prizes will be awarded by both Toyo University and private companies. After the, after the events, there's a party.
for everybody who participated, so a free dinner. And there are TG points for participating, so there are little points for participating. All right. To find more information of last year's contest, see this link below. And if you have any questions, please contact the International Affairs Office. Good luck. Thank you very, very much. Hope I see you all in November, December. Have a good day. Thank you.